Rebellion left us separated from a being that was perfect. We walked away, why? Because we said he wasn't worth it. Throwing away a gift that was given from his grace, we sped up on his face because we thought we knew the way. Wow, what are we? Just pots without a potter. Acting as if we're full, but inside we have no water. Judge after judge rose up to bring us back. We stay for a little, only to get off track. In fact, it's crazy. All because of sin. There was no way to reconcile our life with God again. There was this separation, wider than the chasm. You could feel the guilt and shame every time you would look at him. There was no way to cross. Stuck inside of sin. Stuck inside a way of life for us to fall again. But then, there was this cloud. And the cloud starts to rain. The rain wet the plain and everything turned green. Then there was this tree, so lush and full of life. You look up to the sky and it ran forever high. But why? We were stuck out in the desert. Because of our rebellion, it didn't matter if our efforts were the best that they could be. We could never keep the law. Every time that we would try, we would only trip and fall. See, dry land and thirst is all we ever knew, but it seems as if God wanted to make it all new. See, from the start of time, you had two trees. You had the tree of life and you had the tree that Eve and Adam walked up to, and they were deceived to sin against the Father and cover up with fig leaves. So could it be that this tree is just a reflection of the God from the beginning and his desire for perfection inside of all his people? I think that's it indeed. This tree was God's grace, another gift for you and me. But see, that wasn't just a tree. That wasn't just rain. That wasn't just rain that fell upon the plain. That wasn't just a tree for us to be intrigued. All this was operated by a heavenly king. That king on the other side always had a plan. He wasn't okay being apart from man. He wasn't okay with that current situation. So through his grace and mercy, he fixed that separation. Through his grace and mercy, the father sent rain. Through his grace and mercy, the father had displayed that even though we sinned, the chasm wasn't too wide for his sovereign will to bring us to the other side. Even though our sins separated us from perfection, he made another tree and through it made a declaration that anyone who crosses shall be given eternal life. Step by step, crossing from darkness into the light. See, this tree is a bridge. This tree is a way. This bridge cost money, but we had no change. The rain helped the tree to grow, but the bridge wasn't built for free. This bridge had to be paid for by the blood of you and me. So not only did a king send rain to grow a tree, that eventually became a bridge for you and me. But he sent a lamb who was worthy to pay for the tree when we should have paid the fee. Now we all can walk over. And what did we do? Absolutely nothing. That's the honest to God truth. He paid it all. He even orchestrated the plan. He wasn't okay being a proper man. I thank God for that rain. I thank God for that tree. I thank God for the lamb's blood that paid for you and me. But most importantly, I'm thankful that there is a way for us to cross this bridge till we see him face to face.